twist the season to be jolly. No, I'm not jolly, Tom. I don't really know how to start this video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start it. Welcome back to the AJHB channel. Today is a sad, sad day, and you may be asking yourself why it's a sad day. Well, as you can see, I am on the mini today, but no, before you leave, this is not a mini bike video. That's what I'm getting next to the girl, blah, blah, yeah. That's what I'm getting, no, never mind. Let's just cut that whole part out, Gina. We are on our way to Metric Method to pick up Lexi. I've made a decision in my life that involves me and Lexi parting our ways. Lexi being the GSXR 600, for those of you that are new here, that bike is what started my entire YouTube channel. That bike is what started me on the bike life. That bike was the first bike that I learned how to wheelie. That bike is also the bike that I owe everything that I have to this day to. That is why I regret to inform you that we shall be parting ways. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna shed a tear. It's so sad. Every day a GSXR is lost. Every day a GSXR is abandoned and abused. Crashed by their squidful owners. Stretched, wheelied, blinged out with just way too much chrome. Just way too much. But you, you can help this GSXR. Just 39 cents a day, you can give this GSXR a home. Just 39 cents a day for 12,851 days. Purchases must be painful. Before I go on and get into the details about why this is happening, what's gonna happen, and all that stuff, I'm just gonna wait until we actually get on the bike so that uh, we can finish off the rest of this video on a bike that we all know and love so much. We got the bike back, we went to go eat because I'm starving. Now, the only thing is, how do I ride this? All right. So we are back on Lexi. All right, we got a short trip, so we got to make this fast. I don't want to make this video too long because it's a little depressing. So the less I talk about it, the better, because as you know, this bike is my baby. So we got the bike back from Metric. I left it there to fix a couple of the things. If you guys remember in my previous videos, a lot of you were commenting on the left mirror and how it was kind of flapping in the wind. Well, that's because a spring inside of it broke and it costs, I think, $150 to replace. And, oh, that was the turn. Or is it this is the turn? Okay, I'm lost. All right, so we're gonna park really quick and uh, go over some of the things on the bike. I know that in the photos and in the videos, it looks beautiful in pristine condition, but I wanna be honest with you guys because it's not, and you, you know how I ride my bikes, You've seen my previous videos, so you should know how I treat my bike. I treat it with respect. I try not to drop it, but obviously sometimes it gets a little sketchy. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to be back on this bike. On the right side, I've dropped it one time before so you, there's like a little bit of scratches here there's nothing too bad i mean it's minor if you want to replace the fairings it would look brand new or if you want to keep the aghb style then you can go ahead and do that too <laughs> on this side the left side this is the the worst side the one time i low sided going 15 miles an hour is where this happened on the left 
So there's like a hole there and this is a little scratched up, but like I said, if you want to replace it, you could totally do that. There's, it obviously dented the tank a little bit. Um, this, all this stuff is from the motor replacement that I mentioned earlier. So this is not from me. It came like this when I bought it. Uh, make a left. Ooh, hi car. You want to trade? Give you this awesome bike. JK, I don't want your stupid car. I think that's pretty much it as far as the fairings go. Everything else is pretty replaceable. Um, the mirrors are gone. It now has the blinkers here and the mirrors that are on the bars now. So you don't have to worry about a broken mirror. The cool thing though is I have these little turn, I forget, Z, what are these called again? 90 degree valve stems. <laughs> Front and rear. Does it have an exhaust? Yes, it has a three quarter system. Is that what it's called when it's almost there? Okay, it has a three quarter system Acropovic exhaust. The only thing that is still stock are the headers. The second thing that it has is an ECU flash. So that means it's super fast. That's the best way I can describe it in layman's terms. But when you turn the throttle, it's immediate. There's no delay, there's no lag, it's immediate power. The tires are not brand new, but they're kind of brand new in the sense that I have not ridden this bike in a long time and there is plenty of life on the sides. The chain is next to new. I probably put, I wanna say like 300 miles on the chain. Oh, there's a slight crack right there, but other than that, she runs beautifully. No problems at all. I don't wanna continue making this video because it's a little sad, but I mean, like I said, I gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, the bike has a clean title, is not a salvage title, has not been an accident. Everything that's been done to this bike has been done by a metric method in which they have all the paperwork you will ever need for this bike. And other than that, it's honestly, it's running in pristine condition. You could, you, you could see for yourself. I know that there are going to be a lot of questions as to why I would do such a horrible thing. The reason I'm getting rid of this bike is none other than the fact that I just don't enjoy street all that much anymore. It has been left to commuting and that is all. I never really enjoyed going to the track. I've never been to the track, but it, I've never been because it's just not really my cup of tea. It's not something that I'm interested in doing or trying. And it, it's not to knock anybody who does go to the track. It's just not my thing. I've just, I just don't think I would enjoy it. My heart is with the dirt people, the dirt community, and I've, I've loved dirt bikes since I was a little kid and I never got the chance to do it until now. So now that I have a taste of it, I can't stop doing it. It's all I wanna do, it's all I think about doing, it's all I'm really excited to do, it's challenging, it's, it's nice watching my progression from where I've started a year ago. It's, you know, it's something that I just really enjoy conquering and feeling satisfied at the end of the day. But riding on the street, it just doesn't make me feel the same. I don't feel the same about it. And I don't want to leave this bike in the garage collecting dust. I think that somebody else could take it out and ride it the way it should be ridden. And even with all the upgrades, the ECU flash, I mean, it's, it's already decked out. There's really small minor things that you would probably do or add to it. But I mean, it's, it's a great running bike and it really saddens me to get rid of it. But like I said, it just doesn't get ridden. So I don't, I don't want to hold on to something just to have it sit there. I think it should be used. If you guys go and see the bike at Metric Method, I have a number in mind, but I'm just gonna keep it open for now. So if you guys wanna throw me some offers, whether it be on social media, email, YouTube, comments, whatever it is, just leave some sort of contact information for me to get back to you. If you are out of the state, you can totally ship it to yourself and pay for the shipping. I will bring it to wherever it needs to be to be shipped to you. 
but uh, I will not be taking care of the shipping costs because it's kind of a lot. <laughs> but if you really, really want the bike that bad and you, you're willing to do that, by all means, just, just hit me up, slide into my DMs or whatever, and I will get back to you as long as you leave your contact information. I'm so excited to get back on the Z right now. I don't think you understand. take my hand off oh, <laughs> I was going too slow <laughs> I wanted to wave I'm like I'm not that good yet I can't take my hand off but I see you <laughs> last but not least a huge massive shout out to metric method obviously for taking care of the bike for cleaning her up, fixing up all the little tiny things that could have been fixed, and ultimately keeping there, keeping her there at the showroom for all of you guys to come be with it and touch it and look at it. And that's all you can do. Don't do anything else with that bike.